So I'm not gonna do uh, this type of video every every week. I just wanna after week one, just wanna kind of share my thoughts. So uh, basically, 33 to three Patriots over the Steelers in week one. So that's pretty good. I mean. The offense was, like, awesome. I don't really know how much more they can improve, and yet they're still going to be getting Antonio Brown and then Nikhil Harry after a few weeks. So, like, I don't know how anyone's going to be able to stop them on offense. I mean, 33-3 to against the Pittsburgh Steelers when they're whole thing was supposed to be their defense like I really feel like if the Patriots stay healthy this year they can go 16 and 0 like I feel like they're gonna win their first eight games 8 and 0 pretty I feel like that's gonna be a pretty easy first eight games there and week two they're going to go to the Dolphins against Miami. So as long as there's no, like, miracles or anything going on over here, we'll be fine. But that's a team that just lost 52-10 to 10 to the Ravens. Um, college football has been going on, too. Uh, the Sun Devils have won both of their games. So ASU and Western Kentucky, those are my... Those are my two teams, and um, Western Kentucky somehow managed to choke away a game to Central Colorado. Sorry, Central Colorado, Central Arkansas. I don't even I don't know where I got Colorado from. So, uh, they choked away a game against Central Arkansas in Week One uh, by giving up three touchdowns in the fourth quarter, but they won in Week Two, so that's that's a plus, I guess. I don't know. I'm interested to see how both those two teams turn out. I don't really, I don't really follow Boston College. I mean, like if they're on, I guess I'll kind of root for them. But I, I don't really consider uh, Boston College my team, like I do with Arizona State or Western Kentucky. But anyway, so week one of NFL, and then I guess weeks one and two. Those happened. My fantasy team, well, I have two fantasy teams. One of them lost, uh, but the other one won because I have Tom Brady as my quarterback and didn't draft a backup for some reason, but it's all right. I uh, got Tom Brady, Steven Gutzkowski, and I also have Antonio Brown, too. And, oh, yeah, and I have Gronk, so, you know, in case he feels like coming back. But uh, they won. That was good, mostly because I have um, Samuel Watkins, and he was doing well. Lots of football action happened, so those are my thoughts on what happened in the past two weeks, I guess.